Is this a blast or what? Okay, my name is Becky. I am an ophthalmology enthusiast. That means that I love eyes, I love the anatomy of eyes, and I have been working in it for 20 years, so I know a little bit about it, but it's amazing every single day. I swear I learned something else. So a little bit, um, a life without humor, it's been said, is not fully lived. And so I would like to discuss a type of a different humor, although eyes are not necessarily humorous, there is humor. And as you could imagine, trying to pick one topic of the eyes is very difficult, especially when you love the eyes. So I kind of think about this picture and I think, do I want to talk about the mountains, the trees, the, uh, the lake, the grass? No, I'm going to talk about the tiny little creek that's behind that you can't see, kind of like vitreous humor is in your eye. So I want to talk about vitreous humor, what it does, how it's produced, what it plays in the healthy eye, as well as what we would do without it. <clears throat> so the eye is an amazing, awesome thing, and I wish that I could talk for three hours about it, and even that wouldn't be enough. But I did try to put some little pictures or something that would give examples of what the eye looks like so that we can talk about the anatomy. First of all, aqueous humor is the fluid that is between your cornea and your lens. So this blue area here is where the aqueous is. It's very, very uh, small part of the eye, not to be mistaken by the red part, which is vitreous. So all of us that have been to a routine eye exam, and I'm assuming that's all of us because eyes are so important to us, you have had the slit lamp brought up to you and they say, okay, we're gonna be checking your eye pressure. Nobody likes it, but it's what we're doing. And what we're doing is we're checking your pressure of aqueous that's being produced in your eye. The aqueous humor keeps the interocular pressure and it keeps the main, maintains the cornea shape so that you see well. It also nutrient, gives nutrients to the cornea and the lens. This is a little bit of the anatomy. So you've got the cornea, the lens, right behind the lens is the ciliary body, so keep this in mind because this is a key player. And then in the back you've got the lens and then, uh, oh, Ciliary body. The reason why this is really important <laughs> is because the ciliary body, that really uh, jumbled um, structure there, that is where all the aqueous is being produced. And then it takes this natural flow by the lens and then ultimately gets out the eye. Oh, so why? Oh, I like to use the faucet sink and the drain analogy. So aqueous is like the faucet that is pre pre uh, producing water and the sink fills with water and a good drain drains the water. Now, if you have too much water flowing into the sink and not enough drainage, you actually get too much water built up in the sink, and that's like a balloon that's overflowing with air. Vice versa, if you don't have enough water flowing out of the faucet and too much drainage, you have a deflated balloon. This here is just another picture of how the aqueous is produced and where it is flowing. I love the eye. Um, so the ciliary body is, is building and is pressing through. Oh, one of the, um, a very common eye disease is glaucoma. We've all heard of it. The reason why aqueous plays a part in this is because normal aqueous production, no glaucoma. Too much building up of aqueous humor for one reason or another means that it presses on the back of the eye and creates optic nerve damage with his glaucoma. Inflammatory diseases such as iritis and uh, uveitis actually send white blood cells that the aqueous travels through the eye, and you can see it under microscope. It's really cool. So how do you treat the unhealthy eye? Depending on what the problem is, you can treat it with drops that either slow down aqueous production or that help out the drainage, per getting the aqueous out. There's medication to treat inflammation, and then there's also uh, medications you can take. But I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about surgery, because if I could really talk about anything, I would do it all night on this, because this is exciting. But there are laser treatments that can create better fluid um, to get out of the eye. Oh, gosh. Okay, so like this picture, I've talk, decided to talk about aqueous, which is kind of like the creek hidden that we can't actually see in the picture, but it's so important to the actual picture. Aqueous is super important to us. If we didn't have it, we would not have vision. Aqueous is essential to vision. So for me, if I didn't have aqueous, I wouldn't do the things that I love. That's snowboarding and biking, being in Bend, seeing my kids, uh, reading, travel, etc. I wouldn't do any of it, and neither would all of us. So, I have adapted the quote to say, a life without aqueous humor is not fully lived. 
Thank you.